Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of the M8 HMC project. In the last episode, I did the basic construction of the tank. If you missed it, check the I card in the top right corner, or the link in the description. Today, however, I'll be painting the interior of both the hull and turret. To start off, I painted the main interior piece white. Most tank interiors in the real world were this color, as it helped with visibility on the inside of the tank. Personally, I recommend spray painting or airbrushing this piece white. Why I decided to use such a small brush is beyond me. Next was to add some grime. This was done by using gradually built up layers of thin brown paint. I kept most of it towards the corners where it would build up the most. A few streaks were added to the walls too. Now it was time for smaller details. The main ammo rack and fire extinguisher came with the kit. The six round ready rack towards the front of the hull was scratch built, along with the chairs. Since I'm not going to see these when the turret and top of the hull is on, I'm not all that worried about how good they look. They're mostly a placeholder or basic idea of seating and ammo, since the kit didn't come with them. I also added the suggestion of the radio on the left side. This was made from a piece of scrap plastic and balsa wood. Once again, detail isn't that concerning. Next I added some even smaller details, a 75mm shell to fit in the ready rack, a 50 caliber ammo box, and the Thompson. Now it was finally time to start on the turret. Before assembling it, I painted all the interior parts green. Most of the time, open top vehicles left the inside of the turret the same color as the exterior, and only the inside of the hull would be white. After everything was painted, I put it all together. I also used up the rest of the green paint I had mixed for the interior of the turret to give the exterior a base coat. Off camera, of course. And here it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. In the next episode, I'll be finishing the construction and painting of the exterior, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out on it. Thanks for watching.